starting off the base tour on the mini rift this time you can see we have six external tcs on the outside moving in you can see the upkeep on these it's pretty small only 1k stone and metal for 24 hours this one's 2.5k metal and 2k stone all of them are disconnectable, so in the event a raid happens and you need to replace it, you can just go ahead, break it, do whatever you need. Moving into the gatehouse, we have some bedrooms. Put some peeks back into the base. We met with a locker and our breach peaks, and above us we have some drop boxes. And we have two turrets to watch our compound behind double chain link. Moving around, we have this compound outpost section. Thank you to Liam. We have some drop boxes here. Moving into the compound outpost, we have a battery that's protected very well. And we have four bedroom respawns with great peaks back in to the compound. Moving inside of the first floor, we have a ring that goes around the bottom of the base for defense. And we have three turrets that cover the whole area we have a bunch of peaks out into the compound as well as our mobility up into the base so jumping up we have some more bedrooms on either side we also have a turret here that you can set up early game to shoot through this window setup that will protect you from getting top down moving on into our starter unit we have a low wall peak here for the front door Lots of spaces for furnaces in our workbench. We have our TC, plenty of box space, a repair bench. The TC upkeep is about 7.5k materials each at this current upgrade stage. Jumping up, we have our way into our open core from our starter. We also have a battery spot or leap wipe here to set up turrets off of. The open core is easy to move around in with this setup and it offers a lot of boxes. We have two different loot rooms here. And just some extra TP boxes on the side. We have enough space for our workbench and we also have a ladder hatch here for a grenade trick. You just have to put it on the ladder hatch and open it up. And we'll kill anyone downstairs. We also have that up on the roof as well so we'll get to that later. You can see on all these three windows, we have turrets that will shoot through the windows, as well as turrets watching the doorways in. Moving out of the open core, you can see we have our mobility shoot up from our bedrooms down below. We have two breach peaks on the side, as well as our bunkered loot. I just have four boxes on this, although you could put a battery in here if you needed to. On both sides, we have breach peaks with windows that look out in the compound as well as into the open core and onto the roof. We have two depot boxes that are somewhat hidden on either side. Moving on up, we have another peek back onto the roof when this door is open. But you can also close it so that you don't, can't get killed when you're jumping up. Here we have another bedroom respawn that sees out of the compound. We have more ramp peaks onto the roof on either side. We have two depot boxes beneath these disco floors on all sides. And we have our mini mountain style roof that's pretty similar to the rift. This is the last ladder hatch I was talking about. Doing the grenade trick on this one kills anyone inside the open core. On all sides, we're met with plenty of square roof breach peaks on our mountain style roof. We have another bedroom respawn with peaks that look down into the compound, as well as it being wide gapped. So you can see anyone hugging close on your base. These peaks offer plenty enough angles to see down into your compound and outside for when you're getting raided, roof camped, or just taking Howie in general. Here we have my classic style double chain link with our slides down below. As well as some more turrets that are protected from the top by ramps. If you land on the windmills on this base, you will get shot by these. 
so it's very hard to break these out and it's harder to splash from up top with HVs. That's the base tour, so now I'll show you how to build it. Ha <laughs> ha. 